Hello there guys, welcome to the e-bike repairs YouTube channel. I've got in today this lovely old oxygen battery. It's a 36 volt, 13 amp hour. Um, okay, Samsung cells apparently. Uh, sometimes it doesn't turn on, apparently is what the, the issue is. Every time I've tried it, of course, it has turned on. I've tested it, so charged, discharged, all that. Um, works fine, and it held... 12.68 amp hours apparently it's eight years old uh so got a little lock barrel there the discharge connector is a das kit which oh, i think it looks very similar to like a, a new style high long connector but it's you can see it's all a bit it's a bit strange here this cutout when it slides onto um let's have a look inside so one two three four five screws there There might even be bolts, you know. One, two, three, four. Mm, that one doesn't look that undone, does it? On there. Must be. Let's have a look. We do have signs of opening, so hopefully they're all undone. Uh, I will have to give this sticker the old slice. These out. There you go. That should be enough to pop the top off. Ta-da! Ooh. <coughs> hmm, that smells like it's got hot. It smells like old plastic case. Uh, I'm gonna get these out. They're actually kind of impractical. Wow, that's annoying. You don't need to watch me take them out. I'm going to wind a lot of these out. Right, that took ages. Um, put them up there so I can lose them. Right. We've got our charge port lives underneath here along with the USB port. Um, the USB port looks as though it might even do data, so there might be like a debugging or something on there. <coughs> Probably long lost to time, I'd imagine. Um, just mark this so neg goes on that side and the positive lives on that side oh, is it stuck down? I think it might be stuck down okay. it's all quite nicely wrapped up Okay. I tell you, I wonder if this even controls it. Oh, it does. It does control it. I think there's more than just one cable going to that. Snip this tie off. Looks like where do you go? Why do you go over there and then back? Mm. 
It looks as though the switch might be dual purpose. So the switch does in fact turn the battery on and off. So, yeah, one switch. Uh, right, so let's try and unstick this. <coughs> I'm going to use mm, absolutely not a metal screwdriver. This is carbon fibre, this is. Stick that bad boy. Oh, there is a discharge fuse. There you go, hiding just underneath there. Which looks in you know perfect condition. Nothing up with that. We've got our discharge wires, balance leads, they're all quite nicely done. Yep. Cells wise, I see Samsung something or other. Samsung 2 something. Hard to tell what they are. But they do say Samsung, which is good. Uh, let's have a little look at this BMS, shall we? There's nothing metal under that one. Not one of those. Uh, right, we've got our. Oh, a battery in it. That's interesting. Pos and neg out. Let's check the balance on the cells. I'm sure it's fine because it discharged really well, but just have a look to see. It's the other way up. Ten groups. Voltage drop zero point zero zero seven across the lot. So that's really good. There, uh, that's all pretty happy. Um, with this random not turning on that the customer is experiencing, I was hoping to find like maybe a, a dry joint or something like that, but I've not yet. BMS up. Uh, we've got then, that's our charge, positive, discharge, charge wire there, or discharge, whatever it is, and then our switch comes off here, not, not these ones, but these ones, they come up here, I'll try and inspect what's underneath this heat shrink, see maybe there's a dodgy connection there. And then up into there, and they go underneath this. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? <coughs> well, my recommendation would be that if it's, you know, like an eight-year-old BMS, we just replace the BMS. Um, it's going to be the easiest solution for the customer. We know that there won't be any problems then. And the USB port, I don't know if he uses or not, but we'll see. Um, charge port's all standard. This should still work. It will just be that it's, I guess, on all the time. Unless I can find a BMS that will, uh, that has a switch input. But, um, I think that's the, the appropriate course of action for this one. Um, because, you know, there's no point diving into this. If the battery's low or something, it's just it's not worth the bother. If it's an eight-year-old BMS and it's playing up, replace it. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.